hello again. <laughs> so after I finished the, the, um, last video for the seventh verse, I realized that I didn't finish reading do the Tao now. There was a back page. So we're going to do a part two and read do the Tao now again. So do the Tao now. <laughs> Be on your lookout for ego demands for an entire day. Decide to diffuse as many of them as you can comfortably, perhaps by assigning them an intensity grade. Living beyond ego situations that are easy to accomplishment get a low number, while those requests that are difficult to quell get a higher number. For example, let's say that your spouse is driving the car in which you are a passenger. You see the perfect parking space, but your mate drives right on by, or you watch him or her take different routes that you ordinarily do. Silently witness the degree of discomfort with your decision not to say anything. Did ego let you know its preferences? And it's funny because that makes me think of a, of a situation or two that my ex voiced very loudly that he didn't care for. Or if you have a conversational opportunity to display your specialized knowledge or describe a situation wherein you are, wherein you were the recipient of honor or success, note how, to un note how uncomfortable your decision to remain quiet felt. Again, did egg ego let you know its preference? As Lay Tu says, in this verse, through selfless action, fulfillment is attained. By holding back ego's demand, even for a few moments, you will feel more and more fulfilled. And that will conclude today's reading. Till next time, big hugs, lots of love, and blessings abundant to all. Be blessed and be a blessing. Know that I love you, but don't let me love you more than you love yourself.